around power with your head bowed down and your tail up between your legs. Right. And don't be afraid to offend right. in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, because the devil think he can run over you and God people and take control. But you show up on the scene and say, not so. Yes. Right. And stand between the port and the altar. Yes. Right. On behalf of God's people. Yes. And he will respect you if you're walking in holiness. Yeah. But if you ain't living nothing, you ain't got nothing coming. He will laugh at you and beat you up. Set your body in order. Set your mind in order. Set your heart in order. Shut yourself down from folk. Get those demonic spirits off of you that you've been allowing to attach yourself to. Right. With the gossip and you become a, 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 a what is it? A garbage disposal. Uh, 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 right. <laughs> Because everybody's coming to you with junk. Now you, 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 you will console folks and uh, advise them, but stop listening to lies and garbage. Cut them off before they get started. Yeah. Oh, honey, okay, listen, can I call you back? Mm -hmm. I'll call you back. I'm busy right now. Yeah. Right. Stop it before it gets started. Right. You are the temple of the living God. And let me tell you something about the anointing. Salvation is free, but the, but, uh, the authority of the anointing of God costs. And it costs your blood, sweat, and tears. It costs your sacrifice. It costs, you don't have no anointing if you haven't been through nothing in Jesus' name. I ain't talking about what you did and you messed up and all that stuff, what you went through in your past. I'm talking about what you've been going through since you've been in Christ. He will give you double for your trouble. I said he will give you double for your trouble. Amen. Say but you never bring yourself to the level of others. Right. Can I keep it real? Keep it real. Don't outcuss me if I got a cussing problem. Right. You understand? To prove your point. Because right. I can shut my mouth and go down on my knees, honey, and the Holy Ghost and his angels will do way greater yeah. right. than what I can ever do. That's yeah. right. Because what? Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. That's right. Don't even get yourself caught up in that. And if your flesh get weak where you want to retaliate, repent. Right. Repent immediately. Right. Godly, re godly repentance works as godly sorrow. Mm -hmm. It works as godly sorrow. It works as godly sorrow. Yeah, I'm drunk, y'all. <laughs> I'm drunk, y'all, because God is doing something in me. Amen. If you only knew how to This has been another great ordination. Hallelujah. And I am so humbly grateful that God chose me. Hallelujah. Pastor Alfred Houston. I didn't know him from that. God supernaturally connected us. We stand all the way from And God said to me, I want you to birth him out. God called him an apostle. He spoke it through my mouth. And he said, no. Uh-uh. How do I know? I said, man, God, you are. You are. 
I had never been in his presence. And after I burned him up, I began to see him go forth. I began, he was going forth like, oh, I'm like, I told Prophet, so I said, are you looking for this? Oh, this man, what happened to him? He's like, God, he was coming here, stuck and preaching. He done started the radio show and prayer lines and all oh, that on fire. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. more than what you're doing now. 